I do prefer these to the mono because the monos do still carry a bit of memory. This hangs, as you can see, it just it's pretty damn good. Okay, hi everyone. Now I was out doing a bit of fishing here this morning and or this afternoon, and the conditions, to be honest, the fishing it it's quite crap. Um, plenty of fish moving they're picking up on this small canis stuff and we can't switch them off it and, and as you can see the water is dead flat and you'll probably as we're talking you'll probably see a few of these fish coming up for that canis stuff but what I thought I'd do while the water's like this it made me think of something and it's something that I've been asked quite a lot about and it's leaders or in my case it's a braid tapered leader sometimes known as a furled leader now what i want to do is explain why i use these um i have done the last three and a half or so months without it to see how i get on and it was okay um but i think i did miss it and certainly when i'm on conditions like this i really did miss it this one i've got is very very old i got into it like 35 plus years ago fishing the rivers and that was mainly because I couldn't get my fly once I put it down in the stream and the current sweeping the fly across I, I wasn't getting the right depth and this helped no end just to get it down a bit and improve the catch and that was on the sea trout at night and that's when I started using it and it was just a progression when I got onto still waters uh, I just carried on using it but I do find as I say in these conditions absolutely brilliant now if you're fishing these conditions with your fly line and just your tippet material and you're gonna find uh, and small patterns lightweight naturals you put that out there and the tippet is just gonna sit on the top seems like for ages you'll strip and strip to try and get it under but the trouble is by the time you've got it under you've almost stripped that first 10 plus foot and that is the critical area we want to be fishing the fly proper with this braid that does help so if you I've got with the braid on and I put the cast out what's happening is the braid is sinking straight away that's helping pull that tippet down straight away and then with the fly the other end so Within half a strip, a stead, you know, not a big strip, just half, straighten it out in a half a strip, that is down. Uh, and then I'm fishing then the fly proper and no wake of tippet on the surface. So that for me is critical. Um, and I do believe that when you're putting these casts out in condition like this, it's everybody knows when you cast your line flash that'll spook fish so you're relying on the distance from your fly line to your fly so as i've said in videos before the longer you can manage the better off you're going to be but it's that area where you're more likely then to pick them fish up so the braid does that for me now the braids they come in these particular ones they're snow bee that i use uh, I have tried other ones, but I'm quite happy with these. Um, I think the float, the floater comes in a longer length. It, I can't remember exactly. It might be 10 or 12 foot in length. Then you have the intermediate, which is shorter. The slow sink and the fast sink are shorter. And I think they're about five or six foot. Mine is only about four foot now. It's that old. And that's the other good thing with them. They last for ages. But I think it might have had some damage or something went wrong and i think i've shortened it because i'm holding it there now and i know they're not four fat they're definitely longer than that but i've re-looped it and it still works just the same great thing with them obviously they're tapered so that means you're getting better turnover you have loop to loop and now the other good thing which is important if i'll put that down there a minute so you can see it better now, loop to loop. Now, if you're using your tippet material and that's low diameter, that there, and you get a fish on, that's gonna cut in 
to your fly line. That al allows moisture into the inner core. Okay, and that's a problem. Whereas that there now, you can see I can, even with tension there, I can just push that away. There is no, I can just push that away. Uh, and there is no damage to this at all. Um, so it, it, it works really well there. Plus, the diameter is very similar to the fly line. So the energy coming through the fly line comes down through the tape, the braid, a lot easier. It flows, flows, and it tapers down, obviously, towards your tippet. So the presentation is a lot better as well. Now, I always use now mainly the intermediate, even if I'm fishing a dry fly, because the dry fly isn't on the water for long. You put the cast out, it's straighten everything out, and it's there for 5 to 15 seconds or something. I'll give it a little pull just to create a bit of disturbance. If nothing's picking it up, I'll move it, cast in a different area. So the fly isn't there for long. But if you're one of these that puts them flies out, those dry flies, and you leave it for ages, yes, it's going to start pulling it down eventually. And obviously, because it's dropping slow through the columns, if I'm fishing dial back, dial back, so anything like that, and I want to move them a bit quicker, that braid will maintain a certain depth. It'll keep it just at a comfortable area where the fish are very comfortable to come up. Any Anything that's just subsurface, fish are very comfortable to come up and take. So, yeah, I'm using it most of the time. I don't even bother with the, the floating dry fly one anymore. And I never use the heavy sink one. Uh, whatever fly lines unless you've got an aggressive line an aggressive rod it's hard work uh, and it unbalances everything so never use that you're better off going with an intermediate a sink tip or uh, a sinking line other than using that the slow sink can be useful at times but it's the intermediate is the main one and that basically is like a sink tip I know it's a lot shorter it wasn't but it's like a sink tip in a sense. Um, that means I don't have to have lots of different lines. I can save my money and just put these on. And I'm happy with them, they, they, they're quite fine. So that, I think I've covered most of what you need to know about these braids. Uh, they are useful. Oh, and when I, again, the loop at the other end, I'll loop to loop on my tippet. And whenever I do my tippets, I always go, I put a section in of four, maybe a bit more of heavier line, possibly even up to 15 pound. Uh, and then I'll knot it up and then and I'll drop it down then, possibly seven, and keep going down until whatever I want on there. So I'm tapering my uh, tippet, if you like, or, or it's like a tapered leader, uh, and then add the tippet to the end. But yeah, I hope I've covered it all. Now I'm in the process of doing, because uh, Justin and myself have actually been doing a good bit of Tyvee pools. Uh, and we thoroughly enjoy it up there. I say a good bit. We've had our first session up there and we're due to do another one shortly. Um, now I did have a bit of a problem when I went up there. I forgot most of my camera gear. Because the thing is, we, I drive to Justin's and then we switch vehicles and we're in his to go to the pools and in the process I put everything into the car uh, get up to the pools going through everything and all I've got with me is a GoPro and one battery and I've got to try and make the most out of that it was very difficult but it's even more difficult to edit uh, I'm hoping I can get something out of it because there were some good little bits in there and I'm hoping to get something out of it but during this time uh, a colleague of mine, now this is a channel on YouTube called The Fishing Fix. I think that's what it is. I'll, I'll put a notation on, on in my video. I can't do a tag and I don't know how to do them. Done a few trips up there actually. Now he's just put a video out. And I tell you what, it's cracking. It's worth a watch. Um, he's very good at the editing bits. Um, and he had some good fish when he was there. 
but it is uh, really is worth the watch so that's the fishing fix I think that's what it's called god I wish I had my memory is so bad you'll find it on YouTube as I say I'll put a description or put a check it when I go home and I'll put it on the thing and that is it so I hope that's been useful I don't know um, but they are good anyway and they're cheap uh, so crack on right I'm gonna get on with it I'm, I'm, I'm virtually gonna have a probably 20 minutes if that a few more casts uh, and see if I can move a fish or two um, and I'll see you on the next video take care